Hello everybody and welcome back to Sweet and Crafty. Mama Z is here. Today we have another compilation episode where I'm going to feature three original gingerbread man cookie creations dedicated to the Super Mario Bros movie, the Super Mario, Mario and Luigi, and we are going to feature Mario, Luigi and Bowser. So for now, sit back, relax and enjoy this compilation video. In this video, I am going to transform this absolutely delicious giant gingerbread man cookie into the character from the new The Super Mario Bros. movie. And you guessed it right, it's Mario. And these are the ingredients that we will need for this transformation. Fondant, white frosting, and from this white frosting, I made the following colors. Brown, red, blue, white, and peach color for Mario's skin. I have blue sparkle gel as as well as black color sparkle gel variety of candies for decoration here are some more colors i also prepared baking tools as well as a black edible marker i like to use the metal baking tray for the cookie and of course here's our cookie and as i say in all of our cookie videos make sure to protect your working space since this activity can get quite messy and sticky also here's my little doodle of mario cookie first step let's Let's go ahead and remove the cookie out of the box and make sure the cookie did not come in cracked. For this cookie, I will not be using lots of fondant, so technically I am not gonna need that white paper, but it is easier to move cookie around when I do have the little cardboard paper under. So I usually like to start with the feet and Mario is wearing brown color boots. Let me tell you a little bit about this color. It looks like a perfect melted chocolate color. But guess what? To make this chocolate brown color, it took me one, two, three, four, five, six different colors, believe it or not. Yes, I did use red and green to make brown, but also add some black, couple of different shades of brown, and um, originally had white frosting, so. <laughs> It would be easy if I just used the melted chocolate, right? All right, as in most of my cookie videos, I am gonna start with the feet and Mario is wearing the brown boots. Next, I'm taking my little tool and carefully spreading the frosting. Next thing in the bottom of Mario's shoes is a little lighter brown color, more like tan. And I don't have that color, but I do have these golden stars that kind of similar-ish. <laughs> Let's add a few more for the shoelaces also. Next, I'll be using this blue color frosting and paint Mario's jean overalls. Oops, clean up in aisle five. <laughs> All right, that's okay. It's a good thing I can just cover that section over with more frosting. I was going to use these orange chocolates for the buttons, but I think they look a little bit too big. Instead, I found these smaller chocolate candies. For the belt section, I'm gonna use these candies. And for the front pocket, I will be using uh, these metallic candies. I'll be using a red frosting for Mario's shirt. 
as well as his collar and then obviously we're gonna use the same color for his cap And Mario's gloves are white. Well, All right, and next thing I'm gonna use this peachy color frosting to paint Mario's face. I like doing this little swirl. I find it super satisfying. We will need funding for Mario's cap, also for his eyes. I think for the nose I'm gonna use a little button nose candy. For the mustache I think I'm gonna use color also, but let's just go ahead and make his eyes first. Right here, I think this is a good location. And instead of little chocolate candies, which I usually use for the eyeballs, I think I'm actually going to paint his eyes this time. Before adding black in the middle, I'm going to let this gel dry a little bit. And check this out, after all, I will be using these orange candies for his nose. Actually, I'm going to remove it really quick and before I place this candy down, I'm going to add his mustache. All right, now let's go ahead and place candy on top. Just like that. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna add his brows and hair on the side of his face. Next, I'm adding black gel in the center of his eyes. And I'll use uh, these pearly white candies for the light reflection. And we will need quite a bit of fondant because he does have a good size cap. I decided that I'm not going to make it flat. I do want to give some um, definition, like 3D effect. So I'm just shaping it. And as you see, it is a little bit rounded on top. And I'm just smoothing uh, the edges. And now I'm going to take a little bit more of fondant, roll it, and I'm going to place it on top. Before I place his cap, on top of his head, I'm going to create a little uh, support brick right there because that's where the cap gonna go and I want to make sure it doesn't droop down. Okay, so next I am placing uh, the cap right above his brows like that. Perfect. And putting uh, this part right on top. For now, I'm going to remove it and paint this portion of the cap first and then I'm going to paint this and combine them together. Next, I'm going to paint perfectly round circle in the center of his cap. I technically could use white fondant, but the reason why I decided to use frosting instead because we still need to add letter M and I will be using candies to add letter M, so I need something for them to stick onto. However, if you do want to use a round fondant, instead of candies, I do recommend using a writing gel of red color. Something is missing and that something would be Mario's ears. And here it is, Mario Cookie Transformation from the Super Mario Bros. movie. Today we have another character joining the team and that's right, this is Luigi. And these are the following ingredients that we will need for this transformation. Fondant as well as white frosting. With this white frosting I customized the following colors. We have blue, green, dark brown, light brown, peachy color for the skin and white. Well, 
I didn't really customize the white. I just scooped that white and put it into the bag. Then I have black and blue sparkle gels. I do have other colors of sparkle gel. I'm not quite sure if we will need to use any other colors. Then I have a variety of candies for decoration. Here are a few more. Here are my baking tools as well as black edible marker. I have a metal tray under the cookie for the support. Of course, we need giant gingerbread man cookie. And that's right, if y'all watching our gingerbread man cookie videos, you know I always say the same thing. Don't forget to protect your working space since this activity can get quite sticky and messy. First, let's go ahead and remove our cookie out of the packaging. There we go. I can smell all the way from this distance that it smells super good. It has very nice and strong ginger smell. Also sweet, smells delicious. I forgot to show you my little sketch. I always do a little sketch and mark the colors that I will need to create. So here's my picture for the inspiration and I'm gonna start with his boots. I did prepare two different shades of brown. I have darker, looks like a uh, milk chocolate color and then a lighter shade of a brown for the very bottom as well as shoelaces so let's start with this dark brown color first and paint his boots Next, I'm taking my lighter brown color. This is actually almost identical to the actual color of the cookie. But anyways, and I'm gonna add the bottom of his boot as well as shoelaces. Next, let's go ahead and move on to his blue jean overalls. straps I'll use this blue writing gel using these darker shade snowflake candies I'm going to define the belt section of his overalls as well as the front pocket And I'll paint the inside of the pocket with this blue sparkle gel. After that, I'm going to add two chocolate candies as the buttons on his overalls. Perfect. And I'm going to paint his green shirt next. I just wanted to mention that this color could not turn out any better. It's absolutely perfect color match. Next, using white color frosting, let's go ahead and add his gloves. I have two shades of a green Christmas trees, light green and dark green. I am gonna use a light green to decorate his color with. And I'll use these two green candies for the buttons on his shirt. One right here and one right there. Next, let's go ahead and move on to his face. I'll be using this large size orange chocolate candy for his nose. And for his eyes, I will need to use fondant. Rolling fondant nice and flat and cutting out the shape of Luigi's eyes. Let's place his eyes down and add some blue color. Next, let's add his mustache. Next, let's go ahead and add his nose. Perfect. And his lips. I ended up needing more gel colors. I'm glad I had this pink one. Also carefully, I'm going to add his brows. Now since the blue gel is a little bit dry, I'm going to go ahead and add a black in the middle. 
and little white snowflake candy as the light reflection. Use some fondant and make a green cap for him. I'm gonna put some fondant on the bottom for the support and now let's go ahead and put his green cap on top it turned out to be absolutely perfect we color the top with green frosting and here's the marker edible marker oh and one real quick note they do sell fondants of different colors so it is probably easier just to go ahead and get a green color fondant for Luigi's cap, but I like to make things a little bit more challenging, I guess. So there are two things that you can do with a letter L and the white circle behind it. I prefer to use white frosting and then use colorful candies for the letters. This was the way how I decorated Mario's cap also. Or you can go ahead and use a white fondant and instead of candies use either edible marker or writing gel. Next I'll add his hair. And his ears, but I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of um, base with fondant. And voila! Here is Luigi transformation into the giant gingerbread man cookie, or vice versa, giant gingerbread man cookies transformation into Luigi character from the Super Mario Bros. movie. This character was highly requested, and I was a bit nervous to transform this character into a cookie, but I love challenges. So let's go ahead and transform this giant gingerbread man cookie into Bowser. And we will need the following ingredients. Fondant, white frosting. From this white frosting, I made a few custom colors. We'll talk about these two colors later and I'll explain you what happened to them. But we also have a green, fiery orange and yellow. Sparkle gels. I prepared red, black, orange, green and also red icing. Here are my baking tools and some edible markers. A variety of candies as well as as colored sugar. I have these candies. I have some silver stars, <laughs> some Christmas lights, and I also have orange chocolates. Here's my tray that I like to use for the cookie. Here's the giant gingerbread man cookie. And I also made a sketch. As I said, all of our gingerbread man cookie videos make sure to protect your working space since this activity will get sticky and messy so here's the thing uh when i was transforming toad into cookie i opened the cookie box and cookie was all cracked i had to do cookie surgery <laughs> well let's see if we got cookie in one piece this time one two three grand reveal yay I'm so glad. <laughs> also in this box we get more stuff but I typically don't use these but I do save them. Okay, technology is not quite there yet. Unfortunately, you cannot smell this cookie. But just believe me when I tell you that it smells amazing. I am gonna start with the fondant this time and we are going to add belly because Bowser has a good sized belly. So I'm going to use some fondant pieces and add them right here, just smooth the edges and do the same thing on this side. Since I have fondant out, I decided to might as well and add more pieces that will be made out of fondant, such as his turtle shell. So I'm going to add fondant right here. I'm gonna take my knife and cut the axis of the fondant. We're not gonna need this much. Okay, this is good for now, but we will definitely need to use more fondant later. Oh, by the way, I'm not sure if you noticed that, but I tried to match my nails and I think it's a perfect match with Bowser's hair. Next thing what I'm gonna do is use this uh, warm yellow color and paint pretty much his entire body.
before I spread the frosting I just remembered one very important detail his tail so I am going to add his tail right here using the same yellow color I'm going to paint his tail Next. switching the tools I like to use this one as it's more detailed Taking a quick break and let me tell you about this color and then this color. So as you know, I try to match colors of my cookie as close as possible to the actual character. Look at, at the pictures online, the bone structure, the bone color is whitish gray. We see a little bit of like yellow undertone there. Yesterday when I mixed a few colors, one of the colors was black. I don't know why, but that black color turned into green color. <laughs> so I do think that this color is pretty close match, even though it does have a little green undertone. And this will work for his tummy. So I am gonna add uh, this color now in the center of his belly. going to add his um, scales. As you see, he has green color on his shoulders as well as top of his head and his shell. And I have this perfect green color sugar. Also going to add the same color on his legs right here a little bit. As well as top of his tail. Okay, next step, let's go ahead and paint his turtle shell. And here is the green frosting that I already pre-made. Next, I'm taking this bone color frosting and adding this color around his head right here to kind of resemble the shape of the turtle shell. This is the part that I'm talking about. Next I'm going to go back with this green color and add it to the top of his head. And also I'm going to mix it with this color a little. Mix it together to get a new color shade. So I'm going to take a quick break from frosting and I'm actually going to move on to some details. First I'm going to use this tool and add lines to his belly. And that's actually was one of the reasons why I wanted the frosting to dry a little bit because I do want to see separation of the frosting a little bit more. Next, claws. Bowser has giant claws, as you see. And I actually found the perfect candies. These little Christmas lights look technically just like nails. See? So I'm gonna use those for claws on his legs and his arms. Same candies I'll be using for the spikes on his tail. Next, I'll be using this black sparkle gel to add his cuffs. He has two on one arm and two on the other one. And for these spikes, I'll be using these silver star candies. To make his scary mouth, I will be using this red sparkle gel. I'll be using the same candy for his teeth. 
Next, his nose, and for his nose, I'll be using three orange chocolate candies. I'm going to take my black edible marker and paint nostrils. I decided to just go ahead and remove the candy and paint the nostrils this way. Next, let's move on to his eyes and I will be making his eyes out of fondant. Placing the eyes on top of the cookie. Adding small red circle inside and waiting for this icing to dry before I add a black in the center and white sprinkle for the light reflection. Meanwhile, let's go ahead and add his big horns. And look, I have this Christmas light bulb candies that if you flip them upside down, they look like horns. Next, moving on to his hair and brows. Okay, so I actually changed my mind. I'm gonna use these two candies. I'm gonna carefully remove them first. And add them to his turtle shell. There we go. And I'm actually going to make his big horns on his head out of fondant. Adding orange color to the base. And for the base around these spikes, we have them right here. I'm gonna use these yellow star candies. Even though you can't really see black around Bowser's eyes, I do want to add a little bit of black for definition. And either black edible marker or black writing gel will do the trick. Adding same black color into the center of his eye. And for the light reflection in his eyes, I'll be using these white sugar pearls. So the following step I actually wasn't planning on doing, but I think I'm going to add some definition, you know, the structural lines uh, to his uh, turtle shell. And this is actually green food coloring gel. Let me add a couple more teeth because his mouth is filled with teeth. And one more final touch, I am going to add some more of this um, darker green color scales in the middle of his nose. Oh yeah, it looks good. This is exactly what was missing. And we are done. Here's Bowser from the Super Mario Bros. movie transformed into a giant gingerbread man cookie. If you think I did a good job with this cookie transformation, make sure you give me a big thumbs up and also leave me a comment below which character shall I transform into cookie next. And don't forget to check out other cookies inspired by the Super Mario Bros. movie, Mario, Luigi, Princess Peach and Toad on our Sweet and Crafty YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!